In this video, we are going to look at passive range of motion assessment of the knee joint. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome to PhysioTutors. The goal of passive range of motion assessment is to assess the osteokinematic movements of a joint to evaluate the range of motion in degrees and if range of motion is limited, to evaluate the end feel. You can find a collection of different end fields in this table. A systematic review by Van Treifel et al. in 2010 concluded that measuring knee flexion and extension by vision or with a goniometer yields acceptable to excellent inter-radar reliability. More recent studies by Meta et al. in 2015 and Swenson et al. in 2017 used digital goniometers and smartphone and clinometers to assess knee range of motion in flexion and extension and report good to excellent inter- and intra-radar reliability that was consistently superior to analog devices. To conduct passive range of motion assessment for flexion, the patient is in supine lying position. Flex the patient's leg to 90 degrees at the hip and fixate this position with one hand at the distal femur. The other hand grabs onto the tibia distally and performs maximal flexion and then assess the end feel. For extension, the patient lies in supine position and the leg lies flat on the bench. Fixate the distal femur with one hand and grab onto the distal tibia with the other hand from medial and perform passive extension. Grabbing the tibia from medial allows for the screw home mechanism to occur at terminal knee extension. For internal and external rotation, the patient lies in supine position. These two movements are minimal, though important for full knee extension and flexion to be able to occur. Flex the patient's hip and knee to 90 degrees and fixate this position with one hand. Grab onto the foot with the other hand from plantar and bring the talocrural joint into maximal dorsiflexion to lock it and to use the foot as the lever for the rotations. Then move the tibia into internal rotation and external rotation. The patient is in supine lying position with a fully extended leg. From here the patella can easily glide into medial direction by pushing on it with both thumbs. Glide laterally by pushing with the index fingers. Glide distally by pushing with the index finger and thumb or using your PC form. and glide proximally by pushing with the index finger and thumb. All right, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, now is the time to do so. We hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to watch more, check the recommended video right next to me. For more information on our assessment products, check the description down below and as always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.